All right, so Caleb just drove about 30 hours because it's time to shoot some videos. I drove all the way down from Seattle, hanging out with Niles. Today's video is all about the anamorphic lens. We're gonna do a little bit more of a deep dive into this lens and show you some of our favorite things we've learned. So it's been almost a full year and we wanted to do a standalone video just to, just to tell you more about it. Yeah, we've learned some tricks and tips over the year of using it and like originally we didn't think anything for photos for this lens mm -hmm. and we were like, oh, it's all for video and now we're like shooting photos all the time with it. So <laughs> this video is more just to like, we're gonna go shoot some awesome B-roll, um, vlog a little bit, get coffee, and yeah. teach you some stuff about the lens. All right, the anamorphic lens, by moment, one year later. Link in the description if you wanna buy it. The, okay. <laughs> so Cal, what's up? Oh, get powder. <laughs> yeah. Anamorphic photos are absolutely blowing our minds. When we first made this lens, this is something that we like laughed off. This was like, like that's not gonna work. How does it work? No one does yeah, that. Yeah. But the photos are super fun. Like you get a really, really wide crop. You get yeah. that two, three, nine aspect ratio. And, and it, it, it looks like a still from a movie. Now we can't quite take full credit for shooting photos on anamorphic lens or just thinking of the idea because we actually yeah. were inspired by like other creators and people who are buying a lens and then shooting with it. Oh, I'm so slow. Oh, it hurts. All right. I just saw this video. Dude. Oh, yeah. did you? Well, actually, yeah, like, we're shooting one right I heard, now. I heard anamorphic and I was like, oh, wow. Yeah. All right, so two practical tips for actually shooting photos on the anamorphic lens. One that I always use is try to get pretty close to your subject. Not too close that the minimum focus distance isn't working, but pretty close that the subject is very pronounced because the shot's so wide that you want the subject, especially if it's all centered, like really close and I think the image looks better. Number two, as simple as it is, uh, is download the Moment app just because you get a live preview of the anamorphic look. So basically you can turn on the de-squeeze option and then that saves directly to your camera roll, uh, de-squeezed, which is pretty sweet. So yes, photos with anamorphic lenses are amazing. Um, it's been super fun to see people go out and have fun with it, shoot photos. It's dope. Now the whole reason it is more cinematic is because it gives you that compression in the middle, but still that wide angle view. Um, to show a difference of just how cinematic it really looks, we're gonna do a with and without of Caleb looking cool on the pier right now. So cool. What's up, dude? Oh, we're just gonna get some video now. What this lens is really made for. <laughs> yeah, kidding. seriously. Caleb's gonna go over what the lens was actually made for, which is shooting video. He's got a Movi set up on the S9. Because now he's like an S9 fanboy or Samsung okay. fanboy. Okay, okay, this is a pro tip quick. We might touch on this in our S10 video, which either is out or might be out. Dude, S9 colors are so good. They're like my favorite for video, so. It's a pro tip, but anyways, one and second. It, and then we got a uh, variable ND 77 millimeter. All right, let's do this. That used to be Caleb. Yeah, a girl. All right, so let's get a little bit technical. This is a 1.33 time X anamorphic lens, which basically means it's meant for 16 by nine sensors, which all phones are. And what that does is de-squeeze after you've shot and you de-squeeze your footage, whether that's in the app or on your computer, it's gonna give you a 2.39 by one aspect ratio. All that technical term means is it gives you that black bar look that you see on YouTube videos when a lot of YouTubers are like, all right, let's cut to that cin cinematic B-roll and it's like, boom, boom. Once you do de-squeeze this footage, it naturally gives you those black bars. All that to say, you get a nice compressed look by still keeping the width, which, yeah, just something about that look looks really nice. What we've learned also in the year of shooting with it is that the flares are nice, but not every single shot needs to be flary. You don't need to be like always looking for light. Uh, really what this lens does well is help you look uh, and train your composition. So if you really want that cool Wes Anderson look with your phone, I would recommend getting this lens. I would recommend shooting on it and really nailing that composition down because it gives you that nice, awesome wide look, um, which sets your videos and your photos apart from a lot of other people's. 
really unique look. Another thing we've learned over the last year of shooting with this is that putting the anamorphic lens on the 2X lens of your iPhone or if your phone has a 2X lens that you can manually select, it looks good because essentially what the anamorphic lens does, the focal length, it just takes your native camera's focal length and then uses the 1.33X de-squeeze. So if you put that on top of like the built-in 56 or the built-in tele lens on your phone or your iPhone, um, then you get that focal length with the squeeze. So you're almost getting two focal lengths of anamorphic, which is really cool. A lot of people just throw it on their main camera. Um, a lot of people might only have one camera, like on the Pixel 3. Um, but if you do have an iPhone, quick tip is you can put it on the 2X lens, shoot it in the Moment app, just hard select 2X, and then you're getting a nice, like, more zoomed in anamorphic look, which is really fun. All right, as we wrap this up. Cheers. Cheers, man. Because <laughs> you're embarrassed. There's like people right next to us. Dude, it's like, all right, shout out to everyone who vlogs and like just shamelessly does it because right now we're feeling bashful. <laughs> All right, so we came to a different spot to wrap up this video because we felt weird talking right next to these two ladies who were just happily having a nice coffee conversation. So all we, that to say- We didn't want to ruin their time. You no, know? all that to say, we got the anamorphic lens. We showed off some footage today. Hopefully we gave you some tips, but basically if you're on the fence about buying this lens or you have it and you want to shoot some more photos, some more videos, uh, hopefully this is a little bit helpful. Uh, what we didn't really dive into is a lot of the technical stuff like necessarily de-squeezing if you can't de-squeeze in our app or also rotating the back bayonet all that is linked in the description below in an article that we've written um niles anything else you want to hit Come on, dude. Dude, it's good seeing you man dude you too man yeah. i'm gonna drive home now. i had a baby by the way yeah i'm gonna drive home though now i gotta drive back to seattle okay cool cheesy jokes for the outro yeah okay <laughs> one more one more shot shameless of oh, my ice latte yeah that's true okay see you guys in the next one